Now we have UHF reader for PicoW. So you see there is UHF module on the top side of this board plus display 1.14 inch for visual interaction. Then you have breakouts of various GPIOs for peripheral interfacing. So this was for the top side and then on the bottom side we see our favorite PicoW which is controlling all these components. So you can program this via micro USB cable. Then you have additional programmable buttons plus reset button. Next buzzer for audio alert. Then TF card support so you can use SD card for data logging. So Type-C is also provided for powering this board using your Type-C which is more general nowadays. Then you also have battery connection port which you can use so this project become portable. In the next section we will see getting started. So now we are on SB component shop site as you can see UHF reader based on PicoW and ESP32. So right now we are interested in PicoW based version and as well as you need to select UK and US region as per your requirement. So at the bottom side of this shop side you will see there is getting started guide for both board but for PicoW you can click on this particular link hardware github and software. So hardware provides you all the design files and in the software you will find getting started as well as coding. So already I have opened this one, you can see. So hardware github is all about which provides you the design files of this particular board. So 3D files are also available which can be useful for designing some case for your packaging purpose. So right now we are interested in coding so we'll go to this software github. Here you can see again there is features and specs but we are interested in getting started. So again overview and then the, there is detail interfacing of each and every components which are available on this particular board. You can check out this. So what it provides you detail how UHF module is connected to Pico plus display. So at what GPIO pins they have their pins are connected. And then if you visit downside you will see there is a section which guides you how to install boot firmware. But most of the time when you get your board it firmware will be already installed so you can skip this step otherwise if needed you can follow. So next only test code is provided on board, on board LED link so you can try out this one but if you scroll down so you see various sections are available how to transfer any script file to PicoW of this board. So this is important section where you will see there is a commands and response of UHF module. So you also get manual in this particular GitHub link which you can download to see detailed commands. So here some commands are provided and how module respond to particular command is also provided. If you see here some code snips also provided where you can see some commands added like hardware version then multiple read. So you can send this command to get info of hardware. If you want to read multiple UHF tags, so you can try this command. So you get this kind of response when you try the hardware version test code. So you can visit at this section to find some demo codes. Plus you can open example folder. Let's say we download complete GitHub. So for that you just have to click on this and then download already I have downloaded this one. So you see when I go inside the example folder you will see various codes are available. Now for programming this PicoW you need Thony which you might be aware. Downloading and installation steps provided in the GitHub link. So you can check out that I have opened this particular folder into this Thony. Now if you see how to select board click on this section so you will not find board so for that you just have to connect. So once you connect your UHF reader then now again click you see two options are available so you can select anyone. 
but select this one so now your board is connected with this thony and you see there is empty folder you might get some files over here so if there is empty then you first most important thing is that you need to transfer library files so which required for scripts to support so you see this library folder which is having sd card and uhf library file you need to transfer this so click on this upload so complete folder is uploaded to the root section now any one code which you want to try for example i want to try this uhf hardware version so i have already opened this one so you have two options which is already mentioned on that github link so you can run without transferring this code into pico so just you have to click on this run button and it will start executing so you can see it displays the version plus that that is being displayed on the display of this particular board now if you want to transfer like you want to run this code as a stand alone so you have to transfer this code so for that you just have to save this save copy then to raspberry pi pico and then you have to rename it as main.py otherwise it will not run so whatever code you want as a standalone then you have to open and then save to pico with name main.py don't rename library files they need to be same name which with they have provided so for example now i want this display demo code to try out so i can click run so you can see hello message being displayed so similarly you can also check out this multiple read code i just want to run this code so if you run now you just have to bring any uhf card you see there is a display of particular epc value of the card as well as rsi rsi si and then crc value which you can extract so i have this raw from one product so raw uhf card it is also now readable so similarly you can try various code and modify as per your need so thank you happy coding